when I became a principal of four high school, he was around my beans at the high school. Mr. Bailey has since left. You all may have, you all were real little. You all remember Jafari who used to go here? And, okay, so Mr. Bailey used to do the basketball team with them, bless the ball. And so he had a really good relationship with them. And so he has a good connection with young men. Like I said before, like you all were kind of saying, sometimes the girls get all the attention, sometimes they get their voices heard, and you all do not. So I invited, I selected just this small group, because there's many voices in this building. But you all are near and dear to me and to some of your teachers. So I wanted only you all to have this opportunity to speak with Mr. Bailey. So Mr. Bailey, I'm turning it over to you. Be respectful. And nobody should have to keep repeating, be quiet, or calling your name. Okay, go ahead. All right, good afternoon, fellas. How y'all doing today? Good. All right, I love the energy, right? I love the conversation more. And so, one, can y'all thank Principal Sims? I know y'all probably missed her, right? She's back, but Principal Sims understands what students need. How many people think Principal Sims is mean? No. Yeah, okay. How many people think Principal Sims is fair? There you go, right? So to answer y'all question, what Principal Sims was saying, Dean Gibson can't treat everybody the same, but he can treat them fair. Because it's, it's, it's a difference with, with everybody. But a couple of rules Principal Sims said, let's be respectful. Um, this is going to be like a working workshop. So we ain't going to be tight in here. It's not going to be like, I'm going to do all the talking. Because when I leave out of here at 3 o'clock, I want y'all to teach me more than I've taught y'all. And I'm about to give y'all the feel. So, first things first. Who in here wants to be successful? Just raise your hand, please. Who in here want to be successful? Okay, good. All right. Now, what does success mean to you? Yes, sir. Um, completing a school year. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yes, sir. Having your life together. What does that mean? Um, that's that's good. What does that mean to you? Like staying on trouble well. Okay, got it. Yes, sir. Uh, to see if you want to do a plan for your life. Yep. To, to complete that plan. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes, sir. And I was about to say, I'm going to pick on y'all over here because they've been getting all the action. But yes, sir. Like, when you get older, you want to go to college, high school, all that. So you can all go master's. I love it. Hey, you know what? What's your name? Antoine. Antoine. For you to even understand that there's a thing called a master's degree, it tells me that I'm in a room full of young, potential geniuses. And leaders, right? Yes, sir. What does success mean to you? Do what you gotta do for what you wanna do. Do what you gotta do so you can do what you wanna do. Ooh. You're, you're an old head. You must, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Your, your brand is, yes, sir. I think success is about securing the bag. I'm talking about okay. money. I'm talking about money, but I'm talking about behavior, attendance, and grade. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I love that. Securing the bag, behavior, attendance, and grade. Yes, sir. You're doing something that you like, you make it off of. Doing something that you like, you make it off of. Okay. I got a quick question for y'all. Um, another, and I'm gonna ask a lot of questions. Um, who in here? Show of hands. And first, let me say that this is a safe space, right? What we talk about in here. Say it up. Thank you. Right? So y'all got to honor that. Right? Like, it, it, Mr. Bailey got a suit on, but Mr. Bailey ain't always had a suit on. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right? But I wore a suit specifically. Right? I got my Bradwell fellas. I got my Bradwell cap because I knew where I was coming today. Right? So I wanted to be a part of y'all the best way possible. Right? But even in the streets, certain things you got to honor. Yeah. Right? 
So let's honor each other up in here. Does that make sense? Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. All right, there you go. Yes. Who in here does not like being ignored? Raise your hand. Does not like being ignored. Okay, so I, so you cool with it? Okay. So it's one person that is cool with being ignored. So can we, as Principal Sam said, in terms of respect, when somebody is talking, if you talking, if you doodling, if you whatever, sleep like you're ignoring somebody. I think everybody in here has something amazing to say. A lot of time with your teachers, your staff, it's not always about who, who, who feels like at times in school they're not heard. Anybody at times feel like they're not heard? Okay, so watch this. Everybody hears you, right? Because I got, I got this mask on, I got this app, right? Everybody hears you. But how you say things will determine if somebody listens to you. Yeah. Wait, say that, let that sink in. I like that. Does that make sense, right? Everybody hears you. Because y'all hear me, right? Yeah. yeah. But it's how you say things that will determine if somebody listens to you. Oh, so if you be like, man, Dean Gibson, man, oh God, man, that's. He ain't listening. Does that make sense? He heard you, but he not listening. So you basically say you got to talk to him with respect. Talk to him nice. There you go. Talk yep. to him nice. Yep. And, and, it's, and it's not necessarily nice is good, but if you want people to pay attention. All right, all right, listen. Okay, hold on. Now, this is a safe space. How many people? What, what, what grade do y'all? Sixth grade, grade there. Sixth graders? Okay. Seventh grader, raise your hand. Okay, eighth grader, raise your hand. Fifth grader? All right. So listen, listen. Same space. Who in here, who in here has seen a young lady that they thought that was attractive and attempted to talk to them? Okay, okay. So, Ed Mark, come here for a minute. Mark, come here. Come here. Huh? What? You, huh? Like what? Okay. So, Twan, you said that you don't do what? Okay. So, how do you get it done? Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So, how do you get it done, Twan? Okay. You want to share your secret? Okay. So. So. Mr. Bailey, again, at one point in time, Mr. Bailey was at the SLA class. And I, again, I wore a suit, and I know y'all see Dean Gibson coming here with his shirt and ties and things. I want y'all to see other things. I could have came in here in a hoodie or a sweatsuit, right? But I, I'd like for y'all to see black men in a different way than sometimes. Sometimes you see him out there. So, Twan, it was a point in time where I used to see young ladies, and I'd be like, hey, girl, come here. <laughs> right? Do you think that got me the response that I want? No. no. Now, Mr. Bailey hates being ignored. Hold on. Mr. Bailey hates being ignored, fellas, fellas. So, I, I say, acknowledge me, even if you just give me the finger. Like, if I feel like, 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 acknowledge me. But say, girl, come here. That's not getting me nowhere. Right? So, she heard me. But she didn't hear the one who spoke. She heard you, but she heard me, but she wasn't. She wasn't listening. There you go. Right. So because of the way you So the point that I'm making. So the point that I'm making is. Hold on, Twan. I'm gonna come to you in a minute. I, I, I appreciate you sincerely for par participating. Hold on, hold on for one second. I know why my teachers are tired. It takes a lot of energy. Just pay attention. It ain't like you're talking about 
some BS. You getting some early game. You a six grade, right? Listen. Go ahead. Now, I, I, me personally, right? Y'all know Coach Dean Gibson is a coach, right? He has won multiple state championships, right? Do that? Do y'all know that? No. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, Mr. Bailey is a former head college basketball coach, too, right? But as coaches, the best thing that we can do as coaches is two things that we can do as coaches to get people to pay attention. What are those two things? Anybody? As coaches, it's two things we can do to get everybody's attention. What's one? Real respect. Huh? Yeah. Not necessarily. Real respect. No? Nope. Who plays basketball in here? Me. Right? Basketball team just won, right? Am I right? When the coach sits you on the bench, does he have your attention? Yes. Yes. Make play. Okay, now. When the coach says baseline, what does that mean? Coach got y'all attention, right? Yeah. So as a coach, right, we're in here. I can't say baseline and put you on the bench, but I, I love physical fitness, right? I, I, I love pushing myself. Yeah. Right? But I can't say baseline and put you on the bench. Yeah. Right? 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 But going back to leadership, who want to be a leader in here? Again. All right, so what I'm going to do is, again, it's going to be a working conversation. And I'm going to go through some things, and then I want y'all to give me your feedback on it. And then we're going to break some things down in terms of the survey that y'all took. All right? So what are some common issues that y'all are having in class. Anybody, let's be honest. Yes, sir. Yep. That you're having, yep. This is person. to kind of move around or get with you. Okay. Um, do you kind of know why Principal Sims, the rest of the staff, um, Dean Gibson don't walk everybody in the hallway? No. Okay. Have you ever been to the Taste of Chicago? No. Have you ever been to the Taste of Chicago? The Taste of Chicago. Have you ever been? Have you ever been to Great America? Yeah. What happens and when it's too crowded, yeah, what, what is hurting? Bingo. I told y'all, man, y'all are like right up ahead. All right, what else? Some um, common issues that you're having in class, Juan. It's just really No, okay, so Paul. <laughs> safe, so, so this is safe space. Let's not say any names, right? I don't allow students to talk about my coworkers in front of me, right? So, but go ahead. No, but what are some issues that you're having? See, you went straight to somebody else. What's the issue you have? So, so what issues are you having? All right, so you don't feel like you're being listened to. Is that it? Okay. Yes, sir. Excuse me, gentlemen. Yeah, I see some like two uncles, like two. Okay, so you feel like you're not getting the benefit of the doubt. Okay. All right. We did we did a black to the same sex every day. Okay, I got you. Anybody else? There's common issues that y'all have. Yes, sir. One common issue is like that you're having. Man. Man. So what's the issue that you're having with it? So like, I feel like this is a school event, man. Okay. I, okay. That's, that's a good answer. Yes, sir. My teacher won't let me go get no water on first. Right. Okay. So we're back to that same issue, and you kind of explained it, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Can, can, can you speak up a little bit? You said. Okay, so who in here, who in here feels as though, because the, the comment
comment was somebody, the, the teacher says it, but doesn't explain it. Who in here feels that they could learn better if things were explained to them a little bit better? I've got to get in Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. If, if this were a classroom, because this is a amount of kids yep, in the yep. if I were a teacher, yep. which I used to be a teacher, yep. it's so much, oh, sure, we'll you get frustrated. Yep. That table's talking a little bit. Yep. These, I'm really frustrated. I know I'm yep. being, because these are eighth graders. I have to keep on touching yep. him, saying stop, saying that. Yep. Why does an adult have to keep doing that? Yep. How can you all be heard when you don't give an adult what they need? Yep. That's not fair. Yep. It's not fair. It's like you all want to play. At this, at one point in this presentation, you all was doing yep. something with a pencil and the notebook. You know, at one point he was turned looking that way, not looking at the speaker, and that's kind of like not respectful. You know, like do you all ever see what you have done that caused the teacher to say, "Nope, you can't go." Yeah. Nope, I'm not gonna give you that computer. Yeah. Nope, could it be they think you're gonna tear it up? Do they think you're gonna break the stuff on the keyboard? Do they think you're gonna play in the hallway? Do they think you're gonna start hollering yeah. and screaming? The reason why rules happen is because somebody then broke something along the way. Yep. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, does it? Who? Who doesn't understand, or who? Who doesn't that make sense to? Uh, 